what your body gotta do. What? Hey what's up guys, it's Sino here back on a video and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an outro using Android so I know I've already done a video about that but it was really really old so I thought I'll redo the video for you guys so we are going to be using Adobe Photoshop Touch if for whatever reason you don't have Photoshop Touch I've already done a video on how to get it for free so once you guys download it, open it up and you will have something like that so hit on that button right over there and hit on blank document and create a brand new, uh, brand new project with a resolution of 1280 per 720 if you guys would like to set it high go for it but i'm gonna head and just go with 1280 per 720 so hit on that ok button and now once you guys done that hit on that end button which is right over there and hit on fill and stroke option and it's going to give you something like that hit on that color button and make sure you go ahead and put your finger on that like uh, color bar and make sure that you choose this color right over here which is kind of uh, black gray i really really love it and uh, it looks really clean so once you guys done that hit on that check mark button on the bottom right corner and then go ahead and hit on that layers option and it's going to pop this brand new window hit on that plus button and go ahead and just hit on that duplicate layer and you will have two layers so now hit on that end sign and hit on fill and stroke and go ahead to the color and change it to white and now once you guys done that hit on that uh, end button hit on transform and transform it now if you guys would like to make an outro with only one video on it go ahead and say it's bigger and just put it on the center right over here but in this example I'm gonna head and just do a outro with two videos so go ahead and just make sure that you transform your rectangle right over here make sure that it's smaller and center it vertically and just go ahead and duplicate it and do the same thing but this time in the right uh, like uh, position so we are going to transform it make sure that you go ahead and center it as well and there you have it now next up guys you're gonna go ahead and just merge down those uh, two layers so hit on that layer button and hit on merge down and there you go once you guys done that hit on that effects button right over hit on that end button sorry and hit on fill and stroke but this time you need to go ahead and make sure that you go to type and just uh, switch to stroke and now as you can see from here you can go ahead and change the color i will go with this blue it's kind of green but it's blue i really love it you can go ahead and just increase the stroke as you can see right over here so make sure that you don't set it insanely big make sure that it is around like 10 or 11 just like that so as you can see it looks really nice all right once you guys done that we are ready to add the text so hit on that end sign and you can go ahead and press on the text tool and add your very own text but as you can see right over here photoshop touch i do before Touch have a really really bad fonts that you can't actually get a really great result so what i really suggest you to do is to go ahead to the link in the description below and see my full tutorial on how to install custom fonts on adobe photoshop touch it's really really easy and helpful so as you can see this font looks really awesome i'm using a font called Quarzo. the link will be in the description below if you guys would like to download Quarzo. so as you can see go ahead and just put your text so i did add thanks for watching and the subtitle i did add uh, leave a like if you enjoyed and of course on the bottom add your very own text so as you can see here i did add don't forget to and i will add for the subtitle subscribe so don't forget to subscribe so that's really really great so as you can see the people will subscribe to you so as you can see right over here it looks really nice but what i suggest you to do is to go ahead and hit on that layers button on the bottom, uh, bottom right corner and just go ahead and select the top text which is right over there and then merge down all the text layers so we will have at the end one layer that contain all the text layers then hit on that effects button hit drop shadow and add the drop shadow make sure that the distance set it to zero and add the drop shadow couple more times just like that as you can see so now we add some pop into our text so it looks really nice okay once you guys done that as you can see you can go ahead and add a glow into your uh, rectangles so it's going to look really nice and the color it depends what you guys like so i will go with blue so make sure that you don't set it like really strong as you can so if it is like so strong it's going to blind the viewers so we don't want that so as you can see it looks really nice and another thing that i really suggest you try it out is to go ahead and hit on that plus button right over there hit on empty layer and now make sure that you are on the pyologen selection tool which is right over here then hit on that mod till it says a plus and once you get done that go ahead to the bottom right corner of your like outro and add some diagonal uh, the lines as you can see right over here now this step is not necessary but i really love the design that they, uh, they add to the outro as you can see right over here so go ahead and add a diagonal lines as you can see and once you get done that is on that uh, like uh, end button right over there and go to fill and stroke and add a fill into them and make sure that it is the same color uh, of our uh, like rectangles and go ahead now and duplicate that layer and transform it go ahead and flip it 
horizontally and set it in the other side so now i'm gonna head and just add a background so we are going to add a background into our uh, like uh, outro so what you can do is you're gonna go ahead and just import wherever background you find so i have this one right over here it looks really nice it have really awesome shapes like it's uh, triangles shapes right over here so make sure that you go ahead and just uh, put it or drag it uh, like above your background uh, just like that and make sure that you go ahead to opacity and allow down the op uh, opacity around like 20 or 11 so as you can see it looks really really nice and here here you go guys this is how to make a really awesome outro now before i end up this video please guys don't copy this video click by click because well you ju just use this video as a guideline on how to make a outro on android but if you guys are like bad on photoshopping copy this video click by click but if you open photoshop and you know what you are doing just go ahead and just add your very own customization and be creative but if you guys love this design and you guys are like lazy to make your very own outro don't worry i will leave a link in the description below you can go ahead and download this outro extremely for free and i'm giving you the full permission to use it on your very own videos so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to drop a like down below that means a lot for me also guys check my channel out because there is a lot of amazing and daily videos in there subscribe to my channel if you didn't join me already and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video peace out